Hey everyone, we're here in spooky downtown Fort Lauderdale at the Scranahan House, which a lot of people down here believe to be haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? Comment below to let us know. Well, let's go find out what Judaism says. References to ghosts date back to the ancient world, but belief in ghosts is still very prevalent today. In fact, a recent Gallup poll says that three out of four Americans believe in some kind of paranormal activity. Let's first talk about what ghosts are not. Contrary to popular belief, a ghost is not some white-sheeted figure that flies through the air. Ghosts should also not be confused with evil spirits and demons, which are different entities and we'll talk about them another time. What are ghosts? Ghosts are departed souls who, for various reasons, continue to sojourn in the physical world rather than ascending to higher spiritual realms. Has science found any indications that ghosts exist? For over a century, the British Society for Psychical Research has paid serious attention to ghost encounters. This group was founded in 1882 in London by a group of eminent thinkers and had such names like Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung as past members. The research society has explained that while most reports of ghosts turn out to be illusions, Many seem to be verified. Their studies show that in cases where ghosts were reported as a result of a sudden or tragic death, people completely unaware of the death corroborated sensing something, some sort of presence in the home. This sensing can be experienced in a way that, the same way that, you know, you feel someone's watching you and then you turn around and there's actually somebody watching you. Even animals reacted strongly to the same unoccupied chair in an allegedly haunted Kentucky home. This idea that was gathered by the scientists is actually echoed a bit amongst the Jewish mystics. Sudden or tragic death is described in some texts as hurling the soul into a continued existence in this world. The premature death causes the bodiless soul to continue existing in this world, yearning to complete its originally intended mission. Additionally, in the Kabbalistic text, there are references to a semi-physical or transparent form of the soul called the Tselem or the Guf Dak. This form appears like the physical body in which it inhabited. Perhaps these are the apparitions or ghost figures that some encounter. Interestingly enough, this resembles how people describe themselves as well after having a near-death experience. What does the Bible say about ghosts? One famous biblical ghost involves King Saul. He's desperate to find out how to deal with the Philistines and consults a witch in order to conjure up the soul, the ghost of Samuel the prophet. Now this is something that's forbidden by Jewish law. The Bible tells us that we're not allowed to consult the dead or try to conjure spirits. So no attending seances or Ouija boards or psychics. We're meant to deal earnestly with God and let these souls rest in peace. The point to remember, though, is that we do live in a busy atmosphere. In the same way that we go about our day unaware of microscopic bacteria, radio and TV waves, cell phone and internet signals, there are also spiritual entities present that we may not be regularly aware of. There are instances that are documented both in secular sources and Torah sources that the soul of someone who passed on can appear again in the physical realm in what appears to be their body. What's the reason for this? Usually it's in order to complete something that was left unfinished. There's one important point to take out of all of this. The time that a soul spends in the body during our lifetime is extremely precious and mission-driven. Good deeds and completing the Torah's commandments can uplift the disembodied wandering soul into the heavenly realms and also allow us to complete the mission that we were put here for. Let's utilize the time we have here as best as possible to uplift ourselves and the world around us. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell on the bottom right to keep up with videos as they come out. 
you have friends or family that you think would benefit from watching this video, go ahead and share this video with them. If you have any questions for me about this topic or any questions in general, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll make my best effort to respond to you directly. And finally, if you'd like to keep seeing more videos like this in the future, please consider donating to our Patreon page in the upper right. And have a great day.